Hi, I'm Mike with Mark Metrics, and today we're going to go through the complete out of box experience for the Mark Metrics all in one ramen system. This is going to include unboxing, initial setup, and then we're going to go ahead and test the product to make sure it works. All right, so let's go ahead and start unboxing the all-in-one ramen system. You'll have two boxes. The first one here on my left contains the ball probe itself and the all-in-one system. This is the main equipment you'll use for the ramen system. This box over here contains your peripherals. So that's your mouse, your keyboard, your display, and some extra cables to help get everything connected together. So let's go ahead and pull everything out of the boxes and then we'll get this system set up. All right, once you unbox the complete all-in-one system, this is everything that you should have. You'll have the ball probe. Make sure you inspect the ball probe for any kinks or bends in the cable. This is extremely sensitive fiber optic cable. If anything is damaged, you might have an issue taking a good sample. Of course, you'll also have the all-in-one box itself. You'll get this little bag for the keys. This includes the master control keys, the remote interlock connection jumper, and the probe indicator connection jumper. This is a set of laser goggles to make sure that you don't hurt your eyes. This is extremely powerful equipment. Please make sure you're being safe when using the Mark Metrics all-in-one system. Here is the power supply for the all-in-one ramen system. And then finally, the peripherals. So like you said, there's a mouse, a keyboard, a monitor, an HDMI cable, and this is a special tool to help clean the ends of the fiber optic cable for the ball probe system. Please also check the boxes for a packing list and this quick start guide. It will tell you everything that should be in the boxes. Double check to make sure you have everything. Also take note that your individual system might look a little different than this one. We build different systems for different use cases, so if something looks a little bit different, that's okay. Just refer to your quick start guide and your packing list to make sure that you have everything you need. By the way, the Mark Metrics all-in-one system is very easy to pack and travel with. Click the link at the top of your screen or down in the description below to see how easy it is to take ramen on the road. Before you go ahead and get started, we do recommend that you watch this video all the way through to make sure you have a good understanding of how to properly set up your Mark Metrics all-in-one ramen system. Then after you've watched it all the way through once, you can come back to this as a reference during the setup process. All right, time to get started with the initial setup on the Mark Metrics all-in-one ramen system. And first things first, take your master control key, insert it into the laser control slot, and you can go ahead and just turn this to on right now. Next, you'll take the remote interlock key, go ahead and plug that in. Next is the remote indicator. Now this is not a symmetrical plug, you have to make sure that it's aligned correctly. So go ahead and take a look at the end of the indicator and then line it up. You see there's four holes. Go ahead and put that in carefully. And then screw it in with your fingers. Just finger tighten, not too hard, but make sure that it is secured. Once you have the master key, the remote interlock, and the remote indicator plugged in, we can go ahead and set up the ball probe. Now this is probably the most technical or most difficult part of the initial setup process. You do want to be really careful here because we're dealing with fiber optic cables. They're super sensitive and we want to make sure we don't damage them. So first things first, let's take the ball probe and you'll see that there are two plugs on the end of this. One is labeled collection and one is labeled excitation. Now these line up with the collection and excitation plugs on the back of the all-in-one system. So make sure you plug them into the right place. We'll go ahead and start off by taking off the dust caps. Now you want to be sure not to touch the end of the fiber optic cable with your fingers, unscrew this silver part to reveal the little lock key system. Take off the dust cap and put it down. Make sure you hang on to these dust caps. Now before we plug this in, we're gonna use this pen here to clean the end of the fiber optic cable. Carefully place this on top, click it once, click it twice, and it should be clean. Now this white one is the collection cable, so we're gonna unscrew here on the box. You'll notice there is a key to a line. Line that up on the top. You can go in at an angle to make it a little bit safer, a little bit easier. Push it in. You'll feel that it's spring-loaded and then simply finger tighten. It doesn't have to be too tight, but make sure that's not going to go anywhere. Now the next one, again, we'll take off the dust cap. 
Make sure not to touch the end with your fingers. Unscrew the silver part, take the dust cap off. We'll clean this one more time. Anytime you plug or unplug the collection and excitation cables, you want to make sure to clean the tips. Unscrew the cap on the back of the system. And once again, you'll have to line up this keyhole here. They should be straight up, but just make sure that it's aligned properly. And then finger tighten. Now the ball probe is plugged in, it's time to plug in the power and the HDMI. Plug in the HDMI down here. The power does have a flat side, so make sure you line up the flat side. There we go. Now it's time to make sure that the mouse and keyboard and display are all plugged in and then we can start up the ramen system. The dongle for the keyboard and mouse is actually the same piece and it comes in the back of the mouse. So it's just this little USB piece. You can plug this in to either the back or the front of your ramen system. There's two USB ports down here though, so we find that's the easiest place to plug it in. Finally, make sure that the power supply and HDMI cable are plugged in on the back of your display. And we should be all set to go. So once you have everything plugged in on the back of the all-in-one system, it's time to turn it on. So we hit the power button here, and you'll hear the fan kick on. That'll let you know that the system is on, it is working. Um, and soon you should see the display pop up as well. It'll go through a startup screen, and then you should see a Windows icon after that. That'll let you know that the device is plugged in correctly, everything's working. This startup process usually takes about five minutes to get everything set up, make sure all the hardware is up to the right temperature. It's important to note that there is a software interlock as well as a physical interlock on the back of the all-in-one system. So before you go ahead and take your first sample, grab your mouse and just make sure you click enable the laser. Now you'll see there's a series of system status checkboxes on the left side of your screen here. You'll wanna make sure all of those are green before you start sampling and then you're ready to take your first sample. Okay, so we have everything plugged in, the device is up to temperature and it's time to take our first sample. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that you are touching the end of the probe to whatever it is you're trying to sample. In this case, we have a couple small pieces of plastic. Go over, make sure all of your different measurement parameters are set correctly. This will depend on what it is you're trying to measure. And of course, you can contact us if you need any help trying to figure out these settings. And then go ahead and hit acquire. You'll see a progress bar on the left side of the screen. And there you go, you have your first spectrum and well, should have been no more than about 15 minutes. When you are ready to power down your MarkMetrix all-in-one ramen system, there's two ways to go about it. Of course, you can just press the power button, but we recommend using the software to shut down the system. So go to the setup menu, select shut down instrument, and then you'll just have to confirm that selection in another window. There you go, that should be everything you need to know in order to properly unbox, plug in, and set up your all-in-one ramen system from Mark Metrics. Now, if you have any questions along the way, please do not hesitate to send us an email at support at markmetrics.com. We're happy to help answer any questions. You do wanna be precise with this process to make sure that your instrument is set up correctly and it can take good measurements. Please be sure to check out our social media pages as well, and thank you so much for watching.